Corvette's going to be the car that's going to take it to them. The team is tried and true. It's tough. If Corvette's racing history were to be written down, it would need to be divided into two volumes. The first would be for the privateers who raced Corvettes when Chevrolet wouldn't due to a corporate ban on racing. The second volume would belong to the Pratt & Miller Corvette Racing Team, a factory-backed effort with a goal in mind of showing the world how great America's sports car really is. This story begins with two men, Gary Pratt and Jim Miller. I guess originally my first car, I actually competed in the Soapbox Derby when I was 11 years old. I always had the need for competition. I was always building things and met some guys that raced at the local short track and started helping them in the evenings on their car and that's really what got me involved in racing. I was involved with cars as a teenager. Uh, when I was 18, I decided to buy an Austin Healey. Uh, then took that to Watkins Glen, watched a Formula One race and probably got hooked. Well, we can fast forward 15 years from that time and my brother approaches me and says, I'd like you to come and sponsor my race car. Didn't know it, what that meant at all, but I got involved with him, got to go with him to a couple of tests. They put me in the car and I was hooked on that end. Originally, I wanted to drive. I wanted to be a race car driver. I felt, okay, I was very athletic, very coordinated, but I didn't have the money to practice. In order to be good at anything, you gotta be able to practice. And I always felt, well, if I can build something better than somebody else, that could make the difference. I got together with Gary Pratt uh, and the Protofab team in a Camaro sponsored by General Motors. That gave me the opportunity to get to know Gary and see what he was like as a crew chief and as a car builder. Uh, he had a reputation prior to that of being the most meticulous builder that there was in the business. Uh, once I got to see what he had done, I, I believed it and I felt that this was a relationship that ought to go on for a long time. When Herb Fischel, director of racing for Chevrolet, began thinking of putting together a factory team, he saw the C5 Corvette and Pratt & Miller as the perfect combination for success. With the blessing of John Middlebrook, Chevrolet general manager, a decision was made to back an official Corvette racing program with Pratt & Miller building the cars and managing the team. Before 1996, Corvettes had a history of racing, but they were never raced by the factory. They were always raced by privateers. What we built was on the backs of those individuals who did it on their own time, with their own money, some assistance out the back door, under the table, all right, but never full-fledged. The C5 had just come out. It was a beautiful car, Dave Hill engineered. I mean, amazing technology, really a giant step forward. We all agreed that we had opportunity to write a new chapter in Corvette racing and create a legacy for the car that it so richly deserved. The marriage and the success with Pratt & Miller is, it's obvious when you look around at this room full of trophies. As Pratt & Miller's engineering capability grew, so did Corvette Racing's success on the track. 2001 when we won the Daytona 24 overall. And everybody that, that worked so hard and worked as a team together, it's just unbelievable that this, uh, you know, that this happened. I'd have to say that was my most memorable moment in racing in my career. The team has worked very, very hard for this. This is the culmination of a three-year program. Uh, finished third the first year, second the second, so obviously we had a, a tremendous amount of pressure on us to finish first this year. I had a great time, Andy and all the team, Pratt Miller and Corvette, my guys. Can't say enough about these guys. They really helped my road racing experience. Finally, that checkered flag dropped, and we won that race overall. But we had come so close the year before. I get emotional now thinking about it. You know, that race was the first big race Pratt Miller had won. To see the looks, the smiles on Gary and Jim's face after that race and just the joy it brought them uh, and the rest of the team, it, it was something I'll never forget. I mean, we've won, you know, a lot of other races, but that one was pretty special. The ground-pounding sound of American Thunder got the attention of race fans during the races, but what won their devotion was the way that they were treated by the team before the green flag dropped. From the beginning, there was an effort to let fans know that they were part of the team too. The fan connection 
is uh, a big part of why Corvette racing has lasted this long. Robin Pratt would be there ushering them through these lines as people were waiting in the hot sun. She would grab the family, she would take the kids, she would put them in the race cars 15 minutes before they were gonna go on the racetrack. As technology transfer happened, it bolstered the image of Corvette as being a streetcar with race car DNA. That's a program that took the Corvette to being the world-class sports car it is today. I mean, the c is a world-class sports car. So when you're at the stoplight with a Ferrari or a Porsche or a Lamborghini, uh, they have to respect you. They don't necessarily look at you and snub you, you know. I mean, they know if you want to pop the clutch and go that they've got their hands full. So. But Gary, just a down-to-earth guy and really made it pleasant to work on his race cars that were just fantastic, you know, second to none for years and years. You know, without Jim and Gary, Corvette racing would not have been so successful. I think there's 14 championships, eight Le Mans wins, and one overall win at Daytona in the last 25 years. If that's not enough to get in the Hall of Fame, I don't know what the heck is. I'm obviously very proud of it and feel very blessed to have the opportunities that I've had in my career. Corvette and GM and Jim Miller and, and the race team over the years provided all that and it's, it's a really great feeling. Gary and I had the benefit of great talent, great effort, great commitment, great people. Pratt Miller relationship with GM Racing brought back the racing heritage, you know, for Corvette. Corvette Racing wouldn't be where it's at today without Pratt & Miller. Every individual, whether it was the guys at K-Tech, whether it was the Chevrolet engineering guys, whether it was the guys in the design studio, all right, our guys in the shop, we knew that every time we were going out there, we were writing a page in Corvette history. For bringing together the team that made Corvette racing so successful, while also helping to shape the future of the production Corvettes through technology transfer, and for making the fans a part of the team, we welcome Gary Pratt and Jim Miller into the Corvette Hall of Fame. <laughs>